Good morning or good afternoon, sixth graders. Welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed your holiday weekend and are ready to get back at it this week. It's a nice short week since it's already Tuesday for you. Today we're just going to cover some basic concepts. We're going to be using our Google and Google Drive. We're also going to be reviewing some basic keyboarding skills that we need to remember when we are creating documents in a word processor. So when the substitute teacher gives you the go-ahead, I want you to make sure you are using Chrome as your browser. Please don't do this now, just listen through and then you'll have instructions to follow. So we're going to log into the internet using Chrome. Once you have that pulled up, you're going to go to your Google Drive. Remember these nine boxes over here stand for your Google Apps. And if you pull those up, you can go to Drive right there. Once you're in Drive today, you're going to create a new document, a new Google Docs, excuse me. So go to the New button and go to Google Docs. Now you will need to be signed into your Google account in order to get to this. So please make sure you sign into your Google account and then go to your drive and open up Docs. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the document today. Now remember with Google Docs, Google is going to save this automatically. So even though I have nothing on my document, it's even called Untitled, it's already been saved. It's been saved as a blank document called Untitled Document. So that's the first thing we're going to always want to know and remember is that we should always go in and title our document first. This document here, as the instructions say, you're going to be given a hard copy of these instructions, but this document here, you're asked to title it by word wrap, your first name, your last initial, and your class period. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type word wrap, your, my first name, you would type your first name, your last initial, and now your class period. So if you're in period one, you're going to type one capital B because today's a B day. If you're in period five, you would type five capital B or 6 capital B, or 8 capital B. All right, on this assignment here, we're just going to do some simple typing. So as you can see, this paragraph down below, that's what you're going to be typing. The term word wrap is a vocabulary word that's used with word processing. Word wrap is basically what you do on a computer when you're typing. Word wrap means you are typing all the way across your page and when you get to the end of the page or the end of the margin, excuse me, the word processor is going to automatically start a new, a new line for you and you just keep typing. You don't press enter at the end of the line. You just keep typing all the way across. All right, some different things we need to remember though before we go and set up our document. We are going to be creating this like it would be an essay. So the first thing we would do on our document is we would give it a title and we would center that title. So this is my center button. Another item I want you to remember or I want you to work on today is using line spacing. The default line spacing right now is set up to be a single line spacing but we want to change that to double, okay? And all of these will be on your instruction sheet. So our line spacing set up as double spacing. So we're going to type our title. We're going to hit press enter one time. We're going to go back and left align my text. Tab key one time to indent. And then we will start typing our document. So 
So I would just start typing. I have to look at my instructions here. So as you can see, as I got to the end of this line, I just continued typing. And because this line was full, Google Docs automatically brought this down to the second line. That's what word wrap is all about. That's what it means in a word processor. When you type all the way across the page, when the line is full, the word processor automatically starts a new line. That's what word wrap is. So you're just going to practice that skill. I'm sure it's something that you've been doing since you have known how to type and create reports in a word processor. But it's just a good review and a good way to review our keyboarding skills as well. When you get all done, your document should look very similar to what I have down here at the bottom of this page, except for all of this will be at the top of your page. So your instructions are up here, and what you're actually typing will be down here. So you'll follow this all the way through. Pretty much everything you do on this document is going to look just like this. A couple things I want to point out is Notice right here where I have a comma. Commas come right, they hug the word they come after. So I type the word typewriter, okay, as I'm finished typing it, T-E-R, comma. Then after the comma, I space, and I finish my sentence, period. Space one time, start my next sentence. Again, I have a comma here. So I was typing, when you use a word processor, comma, space, such as word, comma, space, you just keep typing, period, space. So commas hug the word they come after. That means there's not a space in front of the commas. The space comes after the commas. These are just some common little problems that I find that students have early on in the year, and I just wanted to take some time today to go over those things with you and clean that up. So try to do the best that you can. Make sure you're using Google Chrome as your browser. Your document should look very much like this one when you get it all done. And we will go over this again the next time you have class. So make sure you're working hard in class today. Be respectful, help out your neighbors, and make sure you're listening to any teachers that are helping you during class today. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day.